for over a year now, since July of 2019, when we first became aware of it, we have included in our worship a ritual of remembrance and commitment. We recognize that there's suffering all over the world, brought about by natural and human-caused catastrophes, but we have felt compelled to ring our gong in honor of one particular place of suffering and then to others. Since last July, we have honored the seven children who lost their lives last year in federal custody in detention camps. We also let its ringing symbolize those adults who lost their lives in those camps and who remain in such camps, many suffer separated from their families. And now at great danger of being infected with COVID. And we ring our gong additionally, of course, for all those who have died of this global pandemic. Now over 772,000 globally and 65,000 in the United States alone. And this week, the pace has only slackened slightly. We hold in our hearts all of those losses and those affected by them, and all those who continue to risk their lives to provide essential services, those who have suffered the loss of employment, and whose lives are especially vulnerable to the disease and all whose isolation and struggle through grief and loneliness becomes harder the longer this pandemic continues. If one sign of sincerity in prayer is persistence, then the ringing of this gong for over a year is a sign of our faithfulness to the hope that suffering can yet be redeemed. I invite you now to join me in the spirit of prayer and meditation. Spirit of life, God of many names and mystery beyond all our naming, as we ponder today the twists and turns of our history, shared and private, Help us to see that the chance for turning is forever before us. Teshuva, you said to your Hebrew children, return. So we must return to what is deepest and most honest and most clear-headed and compassionate within us. So we must turn to what is highest and yet beckons us forward. Help us to know that the possibility of making such a turn arises with every dawn. 
follows us through every day, is with us even as the sun sets and our own days grow short. Turning, turning to the best, turning to the goodness within those who respond so well to crisis, turning to the best within ourselves, turning toward one another out of selfishness into deeper empathy. These are the twists and turns that matter. Help us now in this shared silence to ponder those places in our own lives where we might turn and be more fully alive, more human and humane, more compassionate citizens who carry forward a legacy of liberation and human freedom that is yet unfulfilled. And help us ponder how in the week that lies before us, we can turn toward all that is holy and help to make this world just a bit more homelike for those with whom we share it. These things and more, now in silence, we together pray. as it is in the meditations of our hearts, when we are most at one with ourselves, our best selves, with all that is holy, and with one another. So may it be also in our daily words and deeds. Amen. <laughs>